Hello fellow scratchers, in this video I'm going to teach you how to program the white rook. So the first thing you can do is go into your chess here, and in this forever loop, when I start as a clone, if my ID is, we want to track that if my ID is the rook, so the rook will be white 11 and white 14. So you can duplicate this and just, my ID will white 11 white 14 okay we'll do the same thing just like the pawns just that we don't need this move wait yeah we don't need this move and here white 11 white 14 and yeah it's just like this in the for the chess piece and if you go to the chess board you can see no. Okay. And in this guide, uh, for this guide here, we go to the guide and now we'll do the same thing. Duplicate this and a random one and place it up here. White 11, white 14. Okay. Now over here, for white, it's gonna be this kind of like the same thing for the rook, just that we need to change not just the x and y, but we need to change the well, not just the x position, but the y position as well. So over here, we can put since we could change x to forty-five. Our rook here will be changing the position by 45, we'll bring it to the right. We want it to bring it upwards as well. So what you can do is change the y position by 45 and place this in here as well. Now when we change x by negative 45, we change y by 45 and now again change y by 45 going upward, going upwards so this one will be negative 45 here is 45 we change the x position by negative 45 and last of all we change x by negative 45 i think as well okay so if you see this should work you click on the white piece let's say if you move it here yep it creates it but it creates too many times So wait on this block here, wait until piece clay equals to white. If piece clay is old. White 11, white 14. There you go. So now if you move, let's say the rook is over here. I mean the bishops here. You click, you can see this. Okay, why is it not showing down right? Let's see. 45 oh because of this x going wait okay so the error was down here where okay so how this works is if you can see it changed wait sorry. it changed y x and y by 45 so it's the guide going upwards up right and then we change it by negative and negative so it's going down left all the, all the guides are going down left then it shows x by negative 45 so it's going and y by 45 so it's going up left and last of all over here it's going down right so if you click on the green flag and for our rooks here let's say we move our rook 
into the center. Then if you click on it, you can see the pieces going correctly. So yeah, you can see the rope moving here. So that's it for today's video, where in the next video I'm going to teach you how to program the most likely the night. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.